Okay, so my number 16 is one one of the heavier albums on this list. It's the, the debut album from progressive metal band Protest the Hero, and it's called Kazaya. It was released in 2005. They're a Canadian band, and I think they recorded this when they were like 15. Really? So the, the main talking point of this album is really sort of how fast and technically proficient it is at just just being an absolute face melter and these guys are only like 15 years old when they did it I mean you look at um, a band like Silverchair who their debut was when they were like a similar age uh. and that's quite you know quirky alt rock but this is like insanely fast mad technical guitar solos like crazy chugging riffs like jumps and time signatures and like you really don't know what's hitting you when you're listening to it and it's just it's so fast and so intense and um it's just kind of boggles the mind that, that these guys were still in school no, that and they're making they're making an album like this um in terms of like their sound the guitar leads and and, and that sort of thing you look at bands around the same time like trivium or bullet from a valentine are sort of doing these like dueling guitar solos and and sort of big chuggy chugging riffs and stuff maybe maybe trivia more so but they're then taking that to much more progressive um direction where you know the songs spiral off in lots of different directions um there's no kind of traditional um verse chorus there's, there's none of that happening on here oh. um i mean if you if you like fast paced and complex and very heavy music then protest the hero are a good shout the vocals are quite high pitched and strained at times so they can maybe get a bit of getting used to but um it's all kind of part of the experience everything is just a sort of everything is heightened um and then there's sort of more extreme kind of guttural screaming and things thrown in as well alongside these kind of screeching isn't quite the word but they're sort of high 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 pitched kind of sort of emo kind of vocals I suppose for want of a better way of describing it so (laughs) it's it's just this insanely technical uh, metal album like there's uh, one of my favourite songs in here is um, Turn Soonest to the Sea which has just got this really melodic um, and technical lead guitar in its intro um, and it, it you know it's got these mad um, sort of bass lines going in everything sort of layers together and you almost if you're not listening for it you almost kind of miss how like cool the bass lines are as they're rumbling along underneath these riffs and sort of bouncing about and um, it's one of those albums that every time you listen to it you'll hear something different mm-hmm. there'll be a different layer that you haven't noticed, a little flourish here and there. I mean, I haven't even mentioned the drums. The drums are fucking insane. There's just absolutely tons of uh, technical ability on this album. And um, I think maybe their their follow-up to this Fortress is probably a... I mean, I think it only came a couple of years later, but it's probably a more rounded album and more ambitious, but... But this is just crazy youthful energy and inventiveness and um, it's just an absolute brilliant listen from, from start to finish and like I said before it kind of boggles the mind that they're, they're such such a young band releasing something of this high standard so yeah I don't have much more to say about that so that was um, debut album from Protest the Hero Kazaya cool